good evening everyone myself gautam sharma i welcome you all in the sapiens education so i am here for solving question number 3.3.19 okay so let us understand what they are asking there are i and j cap are a unit vector along x and y axis suppose if you draw x and y axis if you draw x axis and y axis so the unit vector along x axis is written as i cap and unit vector along y uh, y axis is uh, written as j cap okay what is the magnitude and direction of the i plus j i plus j okay so what is the magnitude and the direction of i plus j so this thing you, you we need to find out and i minus j we need to find out and what are the component of the vector of a along this direction so first of all step by step i will do do each and every question so first of all i will take a uh, part one that is uh, what is the magnitude and direction of the vector so let us consider this is a vector b b and uh, vector b is equal to i cap plus j cap okay we need to find the magnitude so if you want to find the magnitude so this will be what root under one square plus two one square why one square because it is your unit vector right so it has only unit vector so i cap and j cap are unit vector so it has magnitude of one only so you will get magnitude of b as root 2 okay now what is the direction so direction means what we need to do we need to do solve tan theta tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to magnitude of uh, b y component divided by b x uh, b x component so y component we have uh, j cap has a one value magnitude and uh, x has a x is also 1 so finally we are getting 1 so theta will be equal to 45 degree so we have got direction for a vector b i hope you understood now let us consider <coughs> vector c c second part i am talking about vector c vector c take a second vector c as i minus j so both are also unit uh, unit vector only so what is the magnitude of vector c so magnitude can be written as 1 square plus 1 square that is equal to root 2 now what is the direction so tan theta is equal to what tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to uh, c x uh, c y component by c x component since c y component is minus 1 and c x component is your plus 1 magnitude we have to uh, use magnitude only so this is your minus 1 so theta will be equal to minus 45 degree so this is what uh, minus 45 degree means if it is your plus 45 degree so minus 45 you can took like this so this is your minus 45 degree right just opposite you need to travel so i hope you have understood now now another part is that there is a vector known as a and a has a magnitude as 2i plus 3j we have to we have to find a component of this vector along i plus j that is b and uh, i minus j that is c so we want component so let us consider how to find the component so here for example there is a vector a and there is a vector b and there is an angle theta so if we want a component of a component of a along b can be written as so this is this part is the component right and this is known as a cos theta so component of a along b is known as a cos theta understood so we have what are the things we have we have a is equal to 2i plus 3j so given a is equal to 2i plus 3j we have also b vector is equal to i plus j we have a c vector just i minus j okay so they are asking component of a along b so see here we need a cos theta similarly so you know that a dot b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b into cos theta so from here if you want a cos theta so you can write here a dot b divided by magnitude of b so component of a along b so component of a if you want to find component of a vector along b that is i plus j 
so we can write here a cos theta and we can write here a dot b divided by magnitude of b so a dot b is what a is your a is 2i plus 3j dot b is your i plus j both have a dot product and magnitude of b magnitude of b just now we have found the magnitude of b is how much root 2 so can we write here uh, magnitude of b as a root 2 so it is your root 2 right so now how you will solve this 2 2 2 and 2 plus plus 3 so this is your divided by root 2 so this is your pi by root 2 pi by root 2 is the component of a along b okay similarly similarly we can use here component of component of component of a along c along c vector so that is equal to a cos theta is equal to a dot c divided by component of c so a dot c means what 2i plus 3j multiplied by i plus j divided by root and uh, magnitude of c so just now we have found magnitude of c as root 2 so here we can write root 2 now you if you will calculate this so you will get 2i sorry this is c is your uh, minus it is in minus so we can put here minus so i minus j okay so if you do this so 2 1 2 minus 3 by root 2 so finally you will get minus 1 by root 2 so this is the component of a along a c i hope it is clear now so component uh, of a vector a along i plus j we have considered i plus j as a b vector and i minus j that is we have considered as a c so by using this method you can able to find out the solution i hope you all have understood now thank you everyone for watching my video